In an earlier lesson, we talked about a work cycle that we typically follow when working with GitHub Desktop. And the part of the cycle that we're going to start with is what I emphasized here, that you always start a work session by pulling your changes from GitHub. Um, so first, you have to select what repository you want to work on if it's not already there, and then pull the changes from GitHub. So I've opened the GitHub desktop client software. And the first step, which is switching to the repository you want to work on, may not be relevant to you if you only have one repository. But I have a lot of them. And the one that, I, that uh, starts off here is not the one that I want to work on. So I'll need to drop this down and pick the project one that I was working on in the past. So one of the things that I want to do is to start off by clicking on Fetch Origin. Um, it doesn't show that there are any um, commits that need to be pulled down. If there are, then I might need to click that button twice. In this lesson, I want to create some new files, um, but it would be useful to um, let the Atom editor know where the directory is for this repository when I start using it. If I click to the Changes tab, you'll notice that one of the um, options, if there are no local changes, is to open the repository in your external editor. And there's an Open in Atom button. Now, I could obviously just open Atom separately, if I click on the Open in Atom button, then it will launch Atom, but it will also default to my repository directory um, and show me the, the parts that are in it. So this is a way to avoid having to navigate and try to find where the repository was. Um, if this window is not, uh, if this project pane is not visible, I can go to the view menu and toggle the tree view, which is the way that we make it appear and disappear. You can also make it disappear by clicking on this little arrow right here. I'm going to um, go ahead and open a new file. And let's say that our project is to explain, for, explain to people how to use a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and do a level one heading. Okay, so I have created this document. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it. And notice that it knows to uh, be in my project one repository folder. So I'm going to call this instructions.md because I'm writing it in Markdown. And now it knows it's in Markdown, so it's doing syntax highlighting. So if I go to GitHub Desktop, you'll notice that it now uh, recognizes that there is a new document in here, and it's showing up under the Changes tab. And this is all in green with little plus signs, which means this is all new material.